Hello guys, it's Thomas here. Just wanted to share my video about Spark Flight in UK with FCC mode. We'll talk about it a bit more in details while we fly. So I'm switching on my Wi-Fi here, connecting to Spark Remote Control as you see. Here I press cancel, otherwise you go back to UK mode. And we're ready to fly. All seems to be fine as you see with aircraft status. No issues there. Just go into network settings to ensure I'm still in FCC flight. As you see, bar 12 and 13 missing, which means we are in the right mode. FCC. Home point has been updated. Guys, ensure you always get that message before you leave, just to be safe. So as you see, we went up to about 40 meters. I switched it to sport mode and we kicked off. It's fairly windy today. Um, speed, as you see, is 45 kilometers an hour. And um, we're flying directly against the wind in this case. At the bottom of the screen, you see H, which means how high we are, 38 meters in the air. D means distance, we're approaching 400 meters. And V, which obviously means speed, so 42 kilometers an hour. Top left, first message about signal is too weak. We're not going to worry about it just yet. top right corner it says we in a sport mode there's GPS signal Wi-Fi and battery life 83% left 82 now as you probably know spark is limited to 500 meters in UK and European Union I believe but as you see at the bottom of the screen we are now approaching to one kilometer In the description below, I will drop a link to the video, guys, so you can set set your spark to an incredible beast. It's a shame, really. It's limited to 500 meters, because to all the fairness, 500 meters is just nowhere near enough. So what I've done here, I made my spark think it's in America. Ah, oh, freedom. So now we're approaching 1.5 kilometers, and as you see, screen signal has no issues yet. You can notice our speed dropped down to 34 kilometers an hour, which I believe means we fight in a strong wind. No signal message on the top left, so I stopped to see what's going to happen. And carried on because it didn't disconnect. We are approaching two kilometers, ladies and gentlemen. And I believe in Spark manuals it says it flies up to two kilometers. Let's see what's going to happen. Just broke two kilometers line. I could still possibly push it for a bit more, but what happened was I've noticed my battery life it was running out to 55%. So due to lack of experience, I decided to turn around and fly back, knowing that aircraft will do emergency landing at 10%. Didn't want to risk, even though I knew wind is in my favor. So 
so guys nearly 2.2 kilometers with my little spark I was more than happy to be honest as I mentioned before um, in description there will be a link to the video with instructions how to do all that but I want you to understand what you're about to do because regulations are there for the reason so you're basically kind of breaking the law but it's down to you guys to decide whether you want to try it or not and if you do I would really like to know what was your maximum distance please drop me a comment you could probably notice that flying with the wind much easier and um, the battery going down much slower and surprise surprise aircraft was disconnected on the way back at 1.3 kilometers so return home was initiated I am cancelling it because I want to come back in sport mode much quicker as soon as the signal came back One kilometer to go, speed is nearly 50 kilometers an hour. Thanks for watching guys, thumbs up if you liked my video, you can also subscribe if you like because more videos come, peace.